Over the past two decades, technology has changed tremendously. We've gone from cumbersome desktop computers to handheld smartphones. Healthcare IT has also changed. Technology is integrated into every part of a hospital or doctor's office. So health IT leaders have also changed. I think with the, with the change in IT uh, over the years, the leadership style has definitely had to change. Uh, if you think about it, 15 or 20 years ago, uh, when we put in systems, we were looking at uh, automating lab and automating pharmacy and things like that. They didn't really affect the day-to-day -day workflow for nurses and physicians. And the project teams back then were largely comprised of IT analysts. And so your leadership style was managing your, your direct reports and, and getting the, the code written and getting things done. Uh, now we're, we're implementing systems that require the physicians and nurses and uh, lab techs, and radiology techs, all to, to do most of their work in the system. They're reviewing their results in the system, they're doing their documentation in the system, they're managing orders in the system. We're impacting their workflow. So now that team that, that used to be just IT analysts is now a, a, a larger multidisciplinary team. It's the IT analyst, it's the lab techs, it's the physicians, it's the nurses. And so you have to have more of a collaborative uh, uh, leadership style and more relationship building because you're not just managing direct reports, you're interfacing with other, other departments and professionals, and you need to have a way to bring them all to the table and get them to work through issues that, that cut across all these disciplines. Well, healthcare IT, I think, and information management is different than others in that it's highly complex. The data sets are very large and they're complex, and if you don't manage them correctly, the outcomes of it isn't lost revenue or lost cash, it is, could potentially be measured in lives. So the um, importance of it and the rigor in which it's done is highly, highly important. Implementing and working in healthcare IT is complex because you're dealing with a lot of professionals that have expertise in their area and so they're strong-willed people that are, have a lot of opinions about their part of the delivery system. And the challenge is you got to bring them all together and have them sort through those uh, potentially different perspectives to have an integrated and holistic solution. Um, and because they're very well educated, uh, they usually believe they know the answer, but sometimes they maybe haven't uh, understood all of the issues with regard to information management or technology. And so you got to help work them through that uh, learning process. Well, I think that healthcare industry, the, the data that we work with is much more uh, sophisticated and rich than financial data. Um, and I know it's easy to make an analogy between the financial industry and the medical industry, but when you think about the types of data we have to manage, whether it's a, an image or a waveform or um, a, you know, a video. Uh, we have a lot of different data types that we collect about a patient and about their health. Uh, it's very complicated to manage all that data. I also think we have a work process that varies doctor by doctor. We have a, a professional group that has each been, you know, learned to practice medicine a slightly different way. And so you cannot standardize stuff the way you can in other industries. You can't dictate or demand you're going to do, you know, step one, then step two, then step three. Because I have a clinician that does three and then two and then one, or two, then one, then three. It all, it's very, uh, each clinician is a little different. So I don't think we've had the opportunities for standardization um, or, the, or data that has made it very simple. Um, to, to automate healthcare. And uh, the fact is, when I got into healthcare IT more than 25 years ago, we were much less regulated uh, than we are today. Uh, most organizations had a lot of latitude in terms of the direction they wanted to take and the, the functionality of their systems and what kind of data gets captured. With uh, federal uh, mandates and incentives and meaningful use, you've got to be much more nimble uh, because the landscape can change very quickly. Uh, you need agility in your systems, you need agility at your management team level, and you've got to be willing to pivot very quickly. You can't stay too married to a strategy for very long. Uh, the idea of uh, developing a five-year strategic plan, while it has some merits, uh, isn't uh, as important nowadays as being agile. Ten or fifteen years ago, healthcare IT leadership um, was much different because healthcare IT was viewed more as a support department 
um, and IT was more of a back-end operation. We pretty much provided billing and, and after-the-thought data entry type services. But over the past 10 or 15 years, IT is now on the front end. We're providing decision support, both clinical and financial. And on every purchase today, there is an IT component or minimally an IT impact. So now IT leadership, we have to be um, a part of practically every decision that's made in the healthcare environment. So that really has transitioned the role of IT. Vast amounts of information clinicians have to have at their fingertips to make the right decisions in patient care has just really evolved and exploded over the past 10 to 15 years. So when you bring those two things together, healthcare and IT, with that amount of changes, then I think um, the old saying of improvise, adapt, and overcome is, is definitely something leadership in IT has to remember and take into account as they go about that business. Healthcare IT has been evolving, and so have the challenges in leading health IT. The health IT leader used to have a team composed mainly of IT analysts, but now leads a multidisciplinary team composed of individuals with technical and clinical expertise. As IT has branched out from being used mainly for financial applications to clinical applications, the leader has a broader range of responsibilities. The data is more complex, the systems involve more people, and it has a huge impact on the clinical workflow. And the clinical workflow is anything but standard. At the same time, today's health IT leaders have to deal with many more regulations than their predecessors. Although all of these things are challenges, IT is not just a support unit, but an essential component of today's healthcare delivery process.